Konnichiwa, it's your Nika des. Good morning and happy Sunday. We're here for another vlog. Uh, today's a pretty relaxed day. I have my cup of juice, my coffee, my just juice, as Kaylin says. I have a lot of YouTube, blog, and PR content that I need to get done today. Um, but later on, we're gonna go to the movies, so I'm really excited for that. This is the cutest mug that my mom actually got for my birthday. It literally is the same chihuahua as my dog. Look at this. Yeah? Mugs are my favorite thing in the entire world. And coffee. So, <sighs> so some of you guys might know that I'm trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Coming back from Japan, I think it kind of kicked me in the butt um, after realizing like all the things that I'm doing that isn't really benefiting my body and I really really want to get into it and I want to bring you guys along with me It's really motivational for me to watch youtubers who are going through the same journey that I am so hopefully um, We can kind of be friends here and help each other out. Okay, so before we get started on the work I'm going to be procrastinating a little bit, but it's a good procrastination because I'm gonna be um, prepping a soup for the week and it's a very healthy soup it's inspired by taylor r here on youtube i'm not much of a chef but we're gonna try to combat that and make this soup first stop the fridge it's actually stocked i feel like such an adult i want to see if i can actually hold all of this though this is So this is probably one of the easiest like diet things that I do um, and I've incorporated in, especially if I'm like not feeling well. Um, and this is just making this huge vegetable soup that you can grab um, out of the fridge after um, you know a workout or if you just need a snack or um, you want to replace one of your lunches with it. It's actually really healthy and filling. So I really, really like that here. Let me show you guys everything that's going in it. So what you're gonna need is some vegetable broth. If you wanna do chicken broth, that's fine as well. Um, a cabbage, it's rolled over there. You're gonna need a can of diced, no sodium, no salt added tomatoes. And you're also going to need some tomato paste as well. For vegetables, you could kinda do whatever you want to do. This is what I prefer in it. I like to have mushrooms, some carrots. I really like a lot of onion in my soup, as well as the bell pepper, but the base of it is going to be the cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and chop everything up. That's the most tedious thing, but other than that, you just get to throw it in a pot and your soup is made, so. literally saying this is the easiest thing i'm turning on my stove right now and then i'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil you could leave out the olive oil if you want to um but i like to put it in um because i don't want to deprive myself uh and then all the vegetables dump it in all of the cabbage now the recipe doesn't call for this but i really like putting some minced garlic in to the soup. I think it just makes it taste really good. Next, I'm using the vegetable broth to make it an actual soup. And I'm using a low sodium vegetable broth. Um, I think it works the best, so. Didn't even have to use the measuring cup because it was exactly the amount that I needed. Okay, now it's time to also add in your canned tomatoes. I have made this recipe with like fire roasted uh, tomatoes with low sodium from Trader Joe's and it actually tastes really, really good as well. Um, I'm just gonna dump the whole can in there. Um, but we're just going for the basic recipe today. So put the whole thing in there. So the tomato paste is actually to just bring out the more tomato-y-ness of the soup. Oh God, I'm, I told you, I'm not a, I'm not a cook whatsoever but I throw it in because it makes the soup taste good. 
My two favorite things to put in soups are black pepper and red chili pepper. You can put as much as you want in it depending on your taste. Um, I always let this soup cook for a while before I start eating it, uh, just so it cooks down the vegetables. And you can always adjust the seasoning once it's cooked as well. But So we've literally thrown everything in the pot. I told you, this is not a crazy recipe or anything. Um, but I'm going to keep this on about a 7 heat. and I, I keep doing that and it scares the shit out of me. I'm going to put the lid onto this. If you do have a crock pot, this makes it a lot easier as well. Um, but I'm going to let it cook at a 7 for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come back, lower the heat, and let it simmer for as long as I want to. Um, just so the vegetables cook down a lot more. Okay, so while the soup is cooking, I'm going to fix my hair. Uh, because we have to film a YouTube video today. All about Peripera Ink Velvet Lip Tints. So... So hair is kind of done as much as I could do it um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and set up to film the YouTube video that went up on Wednesday um, This is probably the most tedious part about filming a video. It's actually setting up all the equipment I love filming videos for you guys, but this is probably the part that I hate the most So this is what you guys don't see when I film videos, but I do have two soft boxes as well as a ring light. This is my setup. I have a Canon 70D with a Sigma. This is a 1.4 um, with a mic on top as well as I have this pointing towards the desk and I have some fairy lights there as well. But now it's time to sit here. And film my video okay so now it is time to take the Instagram and blog pictures for the video that went up Wednesday uh, it should be up already uh, hopefully it is because that means I'm on time uh, but I'm in my kitchen <laughs> because yes this is unglamorous but it has white tile and it helps me take photos really easily because my desk is a little bit of a dimmer lit area but how many DSLR are here we're gonna go ahead and take these photos and hopefully they turn out good yeah. Why can't I be like five more inches taller? Makes Instagram life so much easier. We're gonna take it from here. Yeah, that's much better. Yes. Work it. <laughs> oh god, why am I talking to coffee? I'm actually too short to do it, so my boyfriend's doing it. <laughs> Little trick of the trade. If you can't see the logo of a beauty brand that you're working with, always just like use like Facetune or Photoshop and then put in the details. It always works. Ah, this is easy. This is easy. This is easy. But yeah, now it's time to go ahead and start editing the photos for the blog. Um, but in the meantime, I'll show you guys actually how the soup is turning out. So I did actually turn down the heat because the soup is already done. When you know it's done is when the cabbage actually um, shrinks, I guess. Uh, but look at how good that looks. It's super, super delicious, super healthy, and I'm actually going to have it for lunch tomorrow. So I have that all prepared. I did get the blog post finished. I did upload an Instagram as well. So social media wise, it's good. I might have to refilm part of the uh, video footage because I actually forgot one of the lip tip colors. <sighs> But uh, we're going out to dinner as well as a movie. Tonight we're watching, what are we watching? Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. I haven't watched the first one, but supposedly I don't need to know the first one to watch the second one, right? I don't think so. Okay, well.
Now that we're done with dinner, we're gonna go ahead to the movies. We're going a little bit early and probably getting the best seats there. So we're finally home from watching Pacific Rim. Comments. The VFX was really nice. The VFX was nice. The robots were cool and the kaiju were cool. That's, that's, like, that's such a guy thing to say. Uh, the robots are really cool. The story was really pretty. Yeah, both of us <laughs> thought that like overall, like you said, like visually it was really pretty, it was pretty. right? For the most part. most part. But then like the story is just like such a basic like robots against monster kind of like. The typical superhero story. Yeah, nice. typical superhero story. But it was good, it was entertaining. And I like the girl, the actress. She was really cute. And the guy. I could understand his English more than the Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, but that's it for the vlog today. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to go ahead and watch the lip tints video if you guys haven't done so already. I'll leave a link to it over here so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And I will see you guys next Sunday with a new vlog. Mata ne! Mwah! Mata ne! Mata ne! Mata ne! Mata ne! Is that your thing? <laughs>